Now, as the Israel-Hamas war rages, U.S. President Joe Biden has spoken to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, even as the Israeli Defense Forces continued their ground operation in northern Gaza, Biden said he did not ask for a ceasefire during his chat with the Israeli PM. Meanwhile, Netanyahu's office said that uh, Prime Minister made clear that Israel would continue the war until achieving all its goals. Now, as the death toll in the war rises, Health Ministry in Hamas run Gaza reported 201 deaths in the past 24 hours across the territory. Meanwhile, Israel has reported the death of five soldiers. Of course, this is the latest that is coming in. Um, my colleague Akshit Gupta joins us on the broadcast to give us more on this. Akshit, uh, of course, uh, now this conversation between uh, US President Joe Biden and uh, Netanyahu from the looks of it, uh, you know, it doesn't seem to stop. They do want to protract the war. So, I mean, over to you, what more details can you share with the viewers on this? Well, yes, uh, yesterday, Joe Biden, US President Joe Biden spoke to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, because the IDF, you know, continues their ground operations in northern Gaza. And uh, they discussed that Biden said that he did not ask for a ceasefire during his chat. Uh, and uh, Netanyahu's, uh, Netanyahu's office has also said that the Prime Minister has made clear that Israel would continue their war until achieving all its goal. Uh, and if I just tell you uh, what's happening there, then Israeli Chief Military uh, Spokesperson also said that its forces had achieved almost complete operational control of the northern Gaza and were preparing to expand the ground offensive to other areas in the Strip. Uh, and and also uh, the Israeli military has said that its troops arrested hundreds of alleged uh, militants in Gaza over the past week and transferred more than 200 to Israel for further interrogation. And uh, and uh, also uh, 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 notably the offensive this offensive has been you know one of the most uh, de devastating uh, military campaigns in recent history uh, because many people have been uh, displaced. Uh, and meanwhile, the Hamas also has said that it had lost contact with the group uh, it said was responsible for five of the Israeli hostages are due to Israeli bombardment. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.